Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, my name is Free, and for today's video we have Caramel Arrow Cookie. So this is a very good character that we're going to be pulling for today. Uh, last time around we did actually do some pulls for Afogado Cookie. And if you guys just started playing the game, these are both really good characters. Again, we do also have uh, the new Legendary on the banners as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Uh, Dark Cacao Cookie is an incredible character, but you're probably not getting him from here. Uh, the rate is very, very low uh, for the Ancient slash Legendary characters. They're very hard to get. But you can exchange them and stuff like that eventually as you get into playing the game more. So, not a huge deal. Anyways, I, I just love everything about this kingdom. So, we're going to go ahead and do some pulls and see if we can get a lucky drop. So, anyways, if you guys started, let me know how you guys' experiences has been uh, since the last time I did a video overall, obviously. Let me know what your experience has been. Uh, so, let's see if we get some good soul stones. Okay, so we start off with Caramel Arrow Soul Stones. So, not mad at that. <laughs> Five. Okay, not mad at that whatsoever. So, I, I think I want to try to get her uh, to three star or so. Three or four star. Uh, I wound up getting Afogado to four star. And the good news is when the gacha is done, um, you do get rewarded based on how many stars you wind up getting on the character, basically. So, you know, it, it, it's a cool little, uh, you know, recycle system, if you will. Not pity in particular, but recycling system, I guess. So, okay, here's the cookie we were going to get. I heed your call. I assume this is her. Looks like it. <laughs> Such a cool... Yeah, it's pretty... I'm pretty sure it's her. Pretty cool kingdom, man. Yep. Nice! So, first multi. We start off with Caramel Arrow Cookie. Alright, so... The, the thing is... Um, that I... Other than her... There's not a ton of cookies I don't actually own at this point. And you're only going to see that animation for the first ones that you pull. By the way, that was technically a, a free pull. That, I didn't use any gems for that. Uh, we have 16 more free pulls, technically. Anyways, so there's not a ton that I don't own. You're not really going to see that animation outside of that. But one in particular I don't own that I really want is Dark Cacao. Like I said, he just came out. I haven't been able to get him on the Nether Gacha, which is a whole separate little Gacha system that you can kind of exchange a different currency for. So there's nothing here. Maybe a Soul Stone? No. No uh, good soul stones anyway. So yeah, I haven't been able to get him there, so we'll see what happens. This is our first multi, and this one will uh, be uh, getting something here. This is our first multi with gems, though. Alright, slow, nice and stir, nice and slow, excuse me. I, I was going to say something funny there, but I messed up. Alright, so here we go. And again, if you started playing, let me know how it's been for you guys since my last video. I'm sure I introduced at least a couple of people to the game. And if you did some pulls in this band, let me know how it went for you overall. I've personally been playing for something like... 40 days, like not a long time. 45 days, not not a terribly long amount of time. Okay, so I don't know who this is, obviously. Oh, is this pump? Oh, yeah, I'm cool with that. Can I uh, limit break her? No, just shy. Oh, uh, she's really good. She summons, I think it's called Pom Pom. Really good. I like her a lot. Yeah, she, she basically summons a huge, like, pumpkin, and uh, it does damage and soaks up damage, blah, blah. Very good. Okay, wizard cookie. Uh, is there anything else here? Not looking like it so far. Oh, oh, nope, not this one either. Just a rare onion cookie. So it's not bad to get these, uh, for the record, if you're new or whatever, it's not bad to get those uh, lower rarity cookies, limit broken as well, because... Ultimately, uh, what happens is you you have like the affiliation or bonds, and as you limit break them all in that specific bond grouping, the characters do get more stat buffs and stuff like that. And not just the characters in the bond, like there's typically three or four characters in the bond, uh, but your whole entire box, your whole roster of cookies gets better. So it's, it's again, a nice little way to improve your overall account. So... It's not bad in particular, but I mean, if you ask me, I'm, I'm trying to just, <laughs> I'm trying to get the most powerful cookies all the time, like I'm sure most of you are. <laughs> and that's it. Like, if I could have every multi be this, I'd be fine. No, not what this cookie is, unless, okay, okay, it's Caramel Arrow again. Um, just like, you know what I mean, like a higher rarity cookie. <laughs> so here's our second one. That should be enough for the first star. Yep. Like I said, I'd, I'd like to get her to at least three stars. And this game is super generous with the gems, by the way. 
I don't really put any money into this game. I put a little bit, but I don't put. I don't really put any money into this game. It's super generous, and uh, unlike some other gotchas you probably play, you don't have to. So they don't drop new banners every week like some other games. Like you know, my other channel, like Dragon Ball or whatever. Uh, they put up banners every week. You know, <laughs> this game isn't like that. We got some soul stones. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up soon here though and probably just do some more off camera um, Depending on what I get here I do still also have those six I can use Oh wow starting to get really unlucky here not even getting soul stones Okay, we might get something here because there's three of them, but we don't have custard. Nope not nah, happening uh, Afogato Soul stones, that's funny. Considering she's the other banner. Wow, like four or five very unlucky multis in a row. Not not uh not what you typically get. There's gotta be something okay, yeah, here he is. Yeah, not typically what you get, man. That's only happened to me like once ever. Because the overall rate is pretty high in this game. I think it was like twenty percent, right? So that's pretty good. <laughs> holding the cherry bombs. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this game has like a nice little um what's the word? Not not theme. I like the theme. That guy looks dope. Uh but like it's it's very it has a nice appeal. It's a very charming game. Ah, another caramel arrow. Which again, I'm not mad at that. But I really am secretly hoping for a dark cacao. But again, the odd is like less than 1%, so it, actually, it's like way less, isn't it? 0 0.05? Like, way, <laughs> way low. For him specifically. Like, it's just not going to happen. But I'm secretly hoping for it, you know? Because, like, I got, uh, what was it? I got two pure, oh, since the last video, I got two pure vanillas. And in the last video, I even got, um, this is my last multi. I didn't actually intend to go this far. Uh, and in the last video, I actually got, uh, what? Um... I can't think of it right now. The Ice Queen or Frost Queen, whichever, uh, whatever her name is. I, I forget her name. And I also got uh, Holly Berry in the last video. It was crazy, man. So, by the way, bad uh, bad showing here for this video. Did not get lucky pulls, unfortunately. I typically like saving these singles for just a multi. I mean, it doesn't change the overall rate, obviously, but it's just easier to do it all at one. Oh, there was a. Oh, wow! An ancient soul stone. That was an incredibly rare pull there. Well, there's the good luck of the video. That was the Sea Fairy. Yeah, Sea Fairy Soulstone. She's one of those uh, ancient slash legendary characters. As you see, their rate is 1% or lower. And uh, she, yeah, Frost Queen. Uh, she, for her Soulstone, the rate on that was 0.3%. Very uncommon. No, wrong banner. Oh, well. Lame. Of course, Brave Cookie ends it with the Brave Cookie Soul Stone. So I am, like I said, probably just gonna do some more pulls off camera and uh, just get her up higher. Like I said, I, I, at least three star. Let's go ahead and pull her up here. Get some upgrades going. To battle, our legend is only beginning. Yay! One star. Like our ancestors. Yay, just over two star. And I'll need, I think, two more pulls for the next star. Countless nights I spent in the mountains yep. perfecting my Ah, two and, and some change. I'll need five over, so hopefully I get that on uh, something else. So, in terms of toppings, if you're wondering, I'm guessing that it's either chocolate or raspberry. Probably chocolate. If you play the game, let me know what you guys put on her. But overall, I really like her and her icons. Are probably really, really nice too. Let me go ahead and see the icon here. Probably change it. Uh, where is it at? It's gonna be an. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it. 
Okay, everyone, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Stick around for more content on Cookie Run Kingdom. Fun game. I hope to produce more content outside of just summons, but obviously I need to learn the game more and, uh, you know, be able to feel comfortable with the content I'm putting out. And if you want to see the previous video where we did polls for Afogado, and I kind of spoiled what we got, but we had some crazy turns of events and lucks and stuff. So if you guys want to check it out and uh, go from there. By the way, this is the Nether Gosh I was talking about. So separate thing, uh, technically... Technically, you can get them guaranteed on this. It's just kind of really hard to get this currency. I don't know if you even can max the currency free, free to play, but it's up for like two months or whatever, so there's plenty of time, I guess. Uh, but there's a lot of missions to do to get this currency. So anyways, anyways, have an awesome day. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see all of you guys next time.